Hey, welcome back. In this video, I will cover easing functions in GSAP. Easing functions are basically effects that you can add to the animation to make it look realistic. To add an easing function to an animation, we just need to use the ease property in the VARS object. Twin Light provides a few basic easing functions with different intensities, starting from power 0 to power 4. GSAP provides also another pack of a variety of easing functions called EasePack, which you can add to your project using a CDN link. GreenSock Ease Visualizer is a great tool offered by the GreenSock's website to help you out with experimenting with every easing function provided by the library. With this tool, you can specify the type of ease you want. Speaking of ease, the majority of easing functions have an ease in Ease out and ease in out, which basically refers to where the effect should take place. More precisely, ease in means that the effect should be at the start of the animation. Ease out means that the effect should happen at the end of the animation. Ease in out is the combination of both. You can compare the different eases on each effect by clicking on the effect name on the code. You can choose between three ways of showing the wanted effect. Each of them can be practical in some cases. With boxes, for instance, you can see a comparison of the power easings with the effect you want to use on the green box. The most powerful part of the visualizer 
is that you can create your own custom easing functions in a few simple steps. However, to make use of the effect in your project, you must include the custom ease plugin. To get the custom ease plugin, you need to create an account on the Greensox website for free, then download it from your profile page. Finally, the only step needed to use the custom easing function that you created on the visualizer is to copy the ease code and paste it in your own code. This is it for this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next one.